Oh my gosh. Look, it's like a little peeping hole into what their floor is supposed to look like. I couldn't believe it. This is without a doubt the most disgusting floor I have ever seen. This floor is absolutely caked in grease and dirt. And look at, if we look here at the corners here, that is the color that this floor is supposed to be. Not that, something like that. And I don't think this floor has been cleaned ever. And it's not just the floor, unfortunately, it is the entire kitchen. <clears throat> the owner of this home does not clean it at all. The sinks, I just, I, I can't even. It makes me want to gag inside. It is so, so bad. But the worst part about this kitchen isn't how disgusting it is, but that somebody lives here. He doesn't like to live in filth either. He is just an old man who doesn't know how to clean. His wife passed away about 12 years ago, and before she passed away, she did all of the cleaning for their entire marriage. All of the cleaning. He is not a filthy person. He just doesn't know how to clean. He doesn't recognize when something really needs to be cleaned and he doesn't know how to do daily maintenance. And he is a relative of mine and I'm always very uncomfortable when I come over to his house because of how dirty it is, but we're gonna fix that today. I'm gonna tackle the kitchen at least and do as much of it as I can. Now you might actually recognize this stove behind me. I cleaned it about six months ago or at least part of it. It had about 12 years of pork chop grease built up on it and it was really, really bad. I'm gonna put a card right here to the video of where I cleaned it. It's a video that really demonstrates the cleaning power of ammonia with grease. This floor also has that uh, pork chop grease all over it. It's too big of a surface to use um, ammonia. The smell would be, oh. So we are gonna test out different products to see what is gonna work best for the floor and then we're gonna tackle the whole floor. I think the transformation is gonna be amazing. I'm really excited to see how well I can get it clean for him. He's in for a big surprise when he gets back. I have a lot to do, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do with these floors is I'm just gonna test a few different products to see what's really gonna get it off the best. This is linoleum, it's not tile. There's a lot of products out there that will probably work for this, but because this is such a big surface, I really want to find whatever is gonna work the absolute fastest. Zep degreaser, always a good one. This is called Totally Awesome. It's actually just from the Dollar Tree. And surprisingly, it is an excellent degreaser. And then we have some Easy Off. This is the Fume Free. I don't use any other kind besides the Fume Free because um, otherwise it can get really, really, really strong. So I'm gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes. Lastly, I'm gonna try Lysol Clean and Fresh to see how well that works. I'm just gonna pour that right on there. I know that's concentrated, but this needs some serious cleaning power. All right, so I've been letting these sit for about 15 minutes. Here is the OxyClean. Let's see how that one does. Uh, that was okay. Here is the Dawn Platinum Power Wash. I mean, that did something. Here is the Zep Degreaser. That did all right. Gross. Here is that uh, Dollar Tree Totally Awesome stuff. Did a little bit better. Here's the Easy Off. Okay. Oh. Did actually pretty good. Finally, here is the Lysol. After testing all the cleaning products, I had the brilliant idea to just try my steam cleaner. After all, I love my steam cleaner and use it all the time at my own home for tough messes. At first I thought the steam cleaner was totally going to get this floor clean and was all excited to clean it without any harsh chemicals, but as the afternoon wore on it became very clear that this was not going to work.
After literally hours of steam cleaning, we weren't getting anywhere fast. I was tired, it was hot and smelly in there, so I decided to abandon the steam cleaner, open up all the windows, grab the gloves, and move on to the method that worked best when I had tested cleaners on the floor earlier, and that was the easy off. So here's a little something that I tried as an experiment. This was just easy off, but then I put some saran wrap on it just so that it wouldn't dry out and I let it sit there for about an hour to see how it would do. And oh my gosh, look, it's like a little peeping hole into what the floor is supposed to look like. I couldn't believe it. When I covered easy off with plastic wrap and let it sit for an hour, it cleaned the floor the absolute best. So I ran to the store, bought like four bottles of Easy Off and three packages of plastic wrap and went to work. This time with a little help. You know we should work it out. You know we should work it out. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you. Ask you all my questions. Get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for credit? The next morning. It was evident the second I pulled off the plastic wrap that I should have done this from the very start. We're talking to each other. I know we feel the same. And I was both loving how easy this now was to clean and kicking myself that I wasted all the afternoon yesterday with the steam cleaner. So the saran wrap was here, the saran wrap was here. Here is the the gap. And it just takes a little bit more scrubbing to get it to come off. Starts with us taking the chance. Not like anything we've done before. Oh, oh, yeah. Now it's time for something better. And time for us to follow our dreams. No, we can't stay no more. Oh, come run away. Here is my disclaimer. Easy Off is not supposed to be used on linoleum. It can damage the flooring and it says so right on the can. I'm not recommending that you use this on your linoleum floor. I used it on this floor knowing full well it could damage it, but in this case, the floor was already ruined in my eyes, so I decided to take my chances and see what it could do. So I just wanted to point this out. We weren't really going to focus over here because it didn't seem like it was so bad. Uh, but now, after doing this good part, we can see that even the not bad part is really, really bad. So we're just going to have to do the entire floor now. 
Now I was faced with a new problem. The grease and the grime was coming off so easily that my sponge couldn't hold all the grease it was picking up. So I finally decided to break out my Ocedar mop. I had just purchased it, it was brand new, and I had been avoiding using this earlier Frankly, because I didn't want to get that floor grease on my new mop head, but I am so glad that I finally did. So right here, you can see I did not spray the Easy Off at all. I've used zero product right here. And I didn't because this house is too small for me to move this kitchen table anywhere else. So we just have to leave it and work around it. And so here we missed a spot. And let me show you how much more work it takes to get that grease and grime off. And if you remember, this was actually the clean area under the table where there wasn't grease and everything. This actually looked like it was the original linoleum color, but turns out this was filthy too. It just looked clean compared to the black that we saw over on this side. Still comes up. Thank you, O Cedar. Just takes a little bit more work. That's okay. I even took the opportunity once I had cleaned this off again, just to get a few other things down near the floor that needed a good cleaning. I also love how low to the ground I can get with the Ocedar to get under some lower spots. This is great to get under tables, cabinets, things like that. And since we're cleaning the floors here, I've uh, cleaned the mop and I'm going to go ahead and get the baseboards too because oh my gosh. So when you're done with this Ocedar mop, I love that you actually just untwist it and it telescopes down. So this makes for much smaller storage. I'm actually in love with that. I didn't know that it did this. So kudos for Ocedar. They solved two huge problems in my opinion with mopping. Number one, um, that you can't ever clean the mop head, which with this one you can. And number two, I hated the idea that you had to clean your floor with dirty water. And this keeps the dirty water and the clean water separate. I think that was brilliant. Like I said, it solved two of my main issues with the traditional mopping. I'm a fan, I love it. Check it out, I'll link to it in the video description down below. You know, for most people, I think if they ever came across a floor that dirty, they would just throw it away. Like, they would just pull it up and replace it with a new floor. That's what I would do. But bear in mind that some people can't do that themselves. They are either too sick or too old, or they can't afford to hire somebody else to do that for them. And that's it, that could be a huge hindrance. And so they are left with just trying to figure out how to make what they have work and in this case I am so so pleased at how well it turned out so 
I hope that you enjoyed this video. I am exhausted. Not only did we clean this gentleman's floor, we also cleaned his sink that was really, really bad. And we also cleaned his stove, which had about 12 years of pork chop splatter that was all over. And it was crazy difficult to get clean, but we got it clean. But the best part about this weekend was the owner's reaction. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. I'm happy to help. What do you think of your floor? This is like a new. This is good. <laughs> oh boy. That looks brand new. Yeah. No brand new kitchen. No <laughs> brand new kitchen, huh? Good. Yeah. <laughs> How about your stove? Oh boy. You buy new one or what? <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. Yeah. This is what I want to ask so that I never have to do this again. Okay. All right, so in your bathroom, you have a Swiffer mop. Yeah. And just once or twice a week, just run the Swiffer over the floor, and that will help prevent this from ever getting this bad again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, that's good. He was so grateful and he was so amazed that his floor was able to get that clean. It made it all worth it for me. And so I was really grateful that he let me come in and help him. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you give it a thumbs up and please share this video with anybody that you think would like it as well. And don't forget to hit subscribe to Clean Freaking Germaphobe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. Now, if you wanna see the video where I cleaned this stove right here behind me, I will put a link to that right here. Click on that and I will see you over there.